Hey guys, Triple B here. Today we're going to be playing a Gyarados deck. Well, sort of. Well, not really, but he's in the deck. So he does have the wreak havoc attack, so flip a coin until you get tails for each head. So you're going to discard those top two cards of your opponent's deck. Similar to how we're going to be discarding their deck, though, we're actually going to be discarding this Gyarados, because what we have for an attacker in the deck is actually the uh, Magikarp. So Magikarp has Raging Fin. does 10 damage plus 30 more damage for each Magikarp and Gyarados in your discard. So if you have four Gyarados, you're doing 120 plus 10, 130. It'd be kind of cool if we could just discard all the Magikarp. So let's do that too. It brings another 120 into the mix. You're all of a sudden you're at 250, but then you don't have an attacker, right? Well, we've actually got Ditto. So Ditto has a sudden transformation ability. This Pokemon can use the attacks of any basic Pokemon in your discard pile, except Pokemon with a rule box. Magikarp doesn't have a rule box though. So we can be doing 250 with this for a double colorless energy, which we can pay with twin or double turbo energy. Touch a choice belt brings it up to 280, and if we're up against V-Maxes, we can always bench a Radiant Halucha, which will actually bring us up to 310. Need to do a bit more damage? We'll just put some uh, Zigzagoons down, bump it up to 320, scoop up net those maybe once, twice, 330, 340. We can take out pretty much anything just with this little ditto. For a draw engine, we are going to be running Chinchino. So Chinchino has make do. You get to discard a card from your hand and draw two cards. Since we want to be getting Magikarp and Gyarados into the discard pile, it's a really effective way to do that while not having to discard our entire hand. Minchino also has the call for family attack. So you get to search your deck for two basic Pokemon and put them onto our bench. So we can be getting our dittos if we see that our opponent has something that's doing some bench damage. Get ourselves a Manaphy, get a Radiant Halucha if we know that they're going to be running V-Maxes. And that's it for the Pokemon in the deck. Uh, for trainer cards, we're going to be running one Heavy Ball just to make sure if any Ditto or Magikarp are prized, we can get them out of there. Four copies of Level Ball. Everything in the deck has 90 HP or less, except for the Gyarados. One copy of Palpad. Four Quick Balls. Helps us discard our Magikarps and Gyarados while searching out other pieces. One copy of Rescue Carrier. Since all of our guys have 90 HP, get them back. We need them, right? Effectively brings us up to six Ditto in the deck if we really want. Three copies of Scoop Up Net. It's essentially our pivot for switching and a way to get more Zigzagoon pings out. Four Ultra Balls. It's our only card that can search out Gyarados, so use it sparingly. Two copies of the new Pokestop Stadium lets us discard the top three cards of our deck, grab any item cards that we find there and put them into our hand, get those Magikarp and Gyarados in the bin. Pretty effective card to have in the deck, and it's our only counter stadium. Two copies of Boss, two copies of Marnie, four Research, one copy of Roseanne's Backup. Since we do fully rely on Special Energy as our only means of powering up attackers, it's a good way to be able to get that back into the deck if we need it. Also lets us get our Choice Belts back, our Stadium back, and if we need another option to get Pokemon back. We've got that in there as well. Two copies of Zinnia's Resolve. It's a handy card to have. Since we are running the special energies, we need to be careful as to what we're discarding. So it lets us just pick two cards from our hand, discard them, and draw as many cards as our opponent has Pokemon in play. Most decks right now are benching fully, especially with things like Lunatone running around. They're benching six guys. Palkia is benching six guys. It's effectively a just straight draw six cards with discarding two instead of research where it's discard your whole hand, draw seven. Three copies of Choice Belts, three copies of Double Turbo Energy, and four copies of Twin Energy. That's the deck list. If you like it, make sure to hit that thumbs up button just to let me know. And if you want to see more shenanigans like this, hitting that subscribe button lets you know when I've got more uh, deck lists coming out. Well, let's jump on ladder and see how we go with this today. So we are concerned with Radiant Greninja, right? Because if they get that, they can effectively take out two Dittos at a time. Yeah, it's not a great hand. Yeah, the super awkward thing here is we started with our bench protection. So all he has to do is get charged up, it can knock that out, and then be setting up a Greninja and take out two guys at a time. You gotta go? That's all good. Thanks for coming around, Toes. It's great to meet you. Glad you popped by for the stream, and um, I'm sure I'll catch you around again. Okay, so use this, hopefully hit an attacker. Magikarp is technically an attacker. We can do that, scoop up the mana fee, get that in the active, it can do a little bit of damage. Give it a choice belt, research this way. Kinda hard to lose in the rescue carrier, but we get a Gyarados in the discard. And another Gyarados in the discard.
Get a magic card? We'll get that in the discard too. That'll become a Chinchino, since we've got the Ditto as a backup attacker, we can be setting this up. Level ball into the... I'm seeing Chinchino when I mean Minchino, and <laughs> Chinchino the following turn. Um, I think we hold off on the belt, just in case he does go into the Greninja. Oh no, we got a Manaphy. Yeah, we checked the belt down. You know I'm talking crazy. And bam, 130. From a bad hand to 130. I'm gonna... What was that, first turn? Second turn. No, that was our first turn. Yeah, that's fine. Cause yeah, now he just like has to swing into a little fish. <laughs> no water in the discard yet either. So unless he's got like research or ultra ball. Okay, he's got bucket. He's gonna bucket ultra ball, I bet. Bucket ultra ball gets Greninja. Huh? Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay. Like, potentially we just Roseanne. I think we get this, we we'll probably get rid of the Zinnia off it. Although we get rid of the Roseanne and then we can use Zinnia after. Yeah, that's probably the safer bet. Get as much draw out as we can. This kind of hurts because we can't get into the Gyarados, but we need to get into the energy a lot more. And that was pretty solid draw. We hold this just in case, like we absolutely need draw power, but we're getting two prizes and then another draw should be fine. Of them in the discard 150, 180. Okay, so we need like another another Gyarados or Magikarp in the bin and a Zigzagoon. We can take out the V unless he evolves. Zinnia now though, jeez. That is a chunky bench. So if he doesn't put that active, we just boss up the Greninja, take out his draw support and his potential to take two prizes. so hard on. Okay, like, do I give him a nudge? <laughs> Okay. 
that kind of hurt. Yeah, 150, 180. I think that's still probably the safest play. Like, half hitting that would have been fine, but he can always just play around it. Whereas this, we've eliminated the potential for him just bossing that up, knocking it out, and then taking out two attackers at once. Likely should have benched that other ditto. I'm not sure why I didn't, to be honest. Um, if he does run like Roxanne or Marnie, it might bite us. What's he going to do? Swing into us with the Palkia? Has that as a backup attacker? I'm guessing he has to use the V-Star power to charge himself up as it is. Okay, let's bring back Magic Yeah, That's fine. So Ditto goes down, we chuck the, the Magikarp in the active. Oh yeah, we definitely should have put that Ditto. <laughs> Damn. Solid cards to get out of it at least. good to have cards like that where you can just search your deck for anything that you need but it's just it can be a little bit annoying on ladder when you're playing against people that don't know what they're going for um, and then you get turns that take quite a bit of time right now bumping our stadium awesome good play good play okay so let's go we'll make do away the quick ball just we have zinnia fodder i think we have to keep yeah. losing the ultra ball is not great but We've only got one more Gyarados in the deck. Um, we should be able to just do this. Get the last Magikarp, Ultra Ball away the Magikarp, and probably scoop up net, to be honest. Get the last Gyarados.
They've done a good chunk into that. He doesn't retreat it. We've got a free two prize sitting there. Um, and if he brings up any single prizer, we have no issue taking the knockout, even with the double turbo energy. And then we're researching should hit that boss. So as long as we don't top that, that boss and have to research it away, I think we're in a pretty good spot here. Probably goes for a Drizzle. Oh, okay. So manually evolve that, ping, scoop up net it, rare candy that one, ping it again, take a prize. Pretty sick. Oh. <laughs> that is really cool if that's the play he's going for. Like, I can't even be mad at that, that's just big brain. I think he's forgetting that I have the man at the end play. Um, but he can still just ping it this turn, right? That gets a knockout. It does make it a little bit awkward. Um, how are we looking for energy? I've got two in the discard, one in play, one in hand, so theoretically three in deck still. Obviously it could be prized as well, but... Okay, we've got dittos. Don't think he'll be running any VMAXs. So we'll get rid of that. Gives us more potential to draw into the boss. And then that should be our uh, win condition. It's just boss next turn. Finish off that top here. I think outside of getting Marnie to Roxanne, we should have game in hand. Might potentially should have put that into play. I'm just concerned that it would be helping him more than it's helping us, since he does have half to the peak in play, and he can't use his own V-Star power right now. play there would be we'd play that just burn through the last chunk of our deck we'd still have one in hand to draw um i guess it doesn't really matter what we put after right because he kills one thing we just have to boss it up
Okay. Could make things interesting. Big pal pad back in a boss. And then just make do. Yes, that's cool. So I guess like Arceus, you can just guaranteed search out two of the pieces. Maybe Burnett search out some more pieces or Ultra Balls and stuff like that. Cool concept. Yeah, interesting to see how well it goes. Go double fish. Like getting a Mincino, maybe? Not nah, double fish. Straight draw. Hope for the best. We just want to get numbers on the board. That's pretty sweet. And we can always the rescue carrier to get that back. So if he knocks us out, rescue carrier, get that back, get a ditto back and swing. Oh, uh, maybe we shouldn't have played that. We did see that he has a um, tool scrapper. These scrappers both are kind of sucks. Arceus. Oh, buddy. You're on four? Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, I shouldn't have put them both down. Okay. Well, we got some more fish. More fish, more energy. Ideally, we hit a research. That's not the card I said. That would have been nicer in my hand. Okay, so 120 effectively. We need to hit what? I can math right now, right? 90. Okay, so even with this, we're getting a knockout. I think we put a fish down just so we have a backup attacker. Now it puts him in the awkward position where he doesn't have energy out to attack because he went for the knockout instead of accelerating. Would this hit the Union pieces? For Pokemon with the same name as one in your discard box. Interesting. I want to see how that goes for him. I guess it does.
How big do we need to go? Okay, so we need two more Gyarados. That's 150 right now. 160. We need 120 more, so we need four more in the discard. Um, like, we don't need to be going that crazy fast, I guess. We're just going to be half hitting stuff. Right? 150, 160, minus 20, 140, plus 30, 170. <laughs> Yeah, I think we just attach that there. Um, like, I don't know that this Zoom thing's gonna be relevant. I think we just grab that to make sure we have it. We hold off using the Ultra Ball until we use the Pokestop again one more turn. Because hopefully we hit a Gyarados off that and then we just Ultra Ball for the last one. Alright, that's pretty sick. <laughs> and he can do like a bunch of damage counters, right? I guess he has to get charged up though, but this is going to be accelerating the energy out. This is heal 200, put 16 damage counters. Okay, so he can be taking out two dittos. Neat. Just shy of two dittos in a magic card. It'd be kind of funny though if he's got too many energy out of the deck already and doesn't have any to accelerate. <laughs> I don't think that's going to be the case, but that would be really funny. plan do that pretty solid um so we can be getting the dittos back from the discard let's do that nothing relevant but yeah so we've got one two three attackers so we do this we get a ditto and something is fodder Yeah, 310. So, what do we cap out at? 310, if we could be using the Halucha, we can't. We've already used Scoop Up Nets, so the Zigzagoon pings to finish them off doesn't get us over the threshold anyway, so we've just kind of cut a brute force through them. And I think we hold off attaching the energies. Do this. All our magic carp are out of the deck. We're just trying to get into Gyarados, right? Thin that. 
we'll use the other level ball, get the mana fee in that too, to um, off the ball for the Gyarados. us better odds of drawing into like boss or research next turn. Do we play the energy? No, I think we'll pull off on it. Flip flopping too much. So the most he can take here is two prizes, right? He puts 16 damage counters out. He can take these two out, 10 damage shy of killing that. But then he can use it the following turn and do that again to finish off two more guys. That makes it awkward though. So we effectively need a scoop up net to get this out of the active because he's just going to kill things off the bench. And then next turn, yeah, he just puts another 16 damage counters out. I think that's just game. scoop up net this. Yeah, he just kills these two things. We'll go down fighting though. Yeah, even if we had if we had choice belt, we'd be 20 damage shy of the knockout. We wouldn't need to use all the scoop up nets. But those got discarded early game anyways, and Mewtwo wasn't in play when we had access to them. So there's really nothing we could have done different. these two away. And like I'm thinking we get the Minchino, just we have a bit of draw support. It's not looking like they have an attacker ready to come out of nowhere, so should be alright. the choice belt yet because we don't want to make that same mistake and get scrapped. <laughs> I don't think that would have fixed up numbers in the other game anyways though. We were just two shotting anyhow. Like I'm thinking we're seeing another pocket. Yeah.
Does he realize there's a path down? Okay, another Drizzle. And is he gonna bump his own stadium? <laughs> yes. Uh, okay. I don't think I've ever seen that attack used. That is pretty epic. Get rid of this. Like, get a magic card just to discard it. Considering mana fee, just to be able to block the Greninja, but he shouldn't have a way to just rush that out of nowhere. We haven't used Rescue Carrier yet, have we? No. Okay, so I must be prized. Do that to get the Chinchino, because we can quick ball for the Magic Carb. Get rid of this, see if we hit, and then we quick ball and ultra ball for the um, magic carp slash Gyaradosis. There we go. Thinking they're running a VMAX? <laughs> and yeah, I think we just get that last magic card, but we can get rid of it with research next turn. And then we're in a pretty good spot. So the Radiant uh, Halucha isn't relevant. Losing this Rescue Carrier kind of sucks though. Open the B star. Yeah, so we definitely need to get the mana fee out. Um, the threat of the Greninja is pretty real. Like if he takes out two Ditto at a time, it's a little nutty. So 
we do this, hope to hit one of them. Okay, we get a twin, kind of sucks. What are we hitting here? Another ditto, another magic harp. Feel like we get the magic harp just to make sure that we have potential to get into the one shot range for the Palkia. Get rid of this. We grab the Manaphy just for that protection. Um, and yeah, we've got all of our fish pieces in the discard. Which sounds really disgusting when I say it out loud like that. <laughs> um, I'm thinking we just hold this hand. Like we could Ultra Ball away these for another ditto. Do we have another ditto? Or am I missing something? We have another ditto. We've got what? One more energy in the deck then? Might be greedy. Get rid of that. Yeah, we've got another ditto. I think that's the safe play. We've got bench protection. Greninja's not coming out of nowhere and taking us out. Um, we've got the ditto set up. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's all like, oh, yeah, no, I'm in bad spot. Hey guys, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit that thumbs up button just to let me know, and hitting subscribe lets you know when I have more content coming out. If you did want to catch me live, I do stream on Twitch as well, so I do Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays. It is in Australian Central Time though, so you might want to check out the um, Twitch schedule, and it'll convert it over to your time zone for you. Well, thanks for hanging out. Take care.